Okay, so let me show you inside our new application Igloo. So as you can see, it's a nice clean interface and we're actually making some adjustments to the UI. So come launch day, it might look a little bit different, but um, yeah, it's basically done like this. So what you would do is create a campaign and I've created one that's called Josh's campaign. And then inside your campaign, you add pages. So you can go through and you know select the page. Maybe you want to add, for example, an opt-in page. You can preview it like this. It's a nice kind of one over there. Or you can, and then you can go through and select if you want to edit your campaign. Um, we've got some really nice looking pages. So let me show you some of them. I'll just preview this one. And I'll open up this one as well. As you can see, these animations and everything was you know created directly inside of Igloo. It looks really, really professional, as you can see. Nice animations, hover effects, and things like that. And yeah, you know, those are great page templates for people to start building off. Um, we've got upsell pages. So let me show you some of these. This one's quite a nice one. And the background, you know, colors was, it was, it's like a gradient color. So you can add gradients to your backgrounds, to your sections. Um, and yeah, just a whole bunch of really awesome customization features. So as you can see like that. So what I would do, um, once, you're, once you've got some pages you wanna add, just simply select them. You can go through and add more pages as well. So maybe you want a landing page as well. So you can simply go through and select that. And then you can obviously go through and drag and place it where you want. Now these pages, um, aren't hosted on our, our software, you know, you need to either download them as an HTML file or you can go through and download our WordPress plugin um, and and then simply publish your pages directly through WordPress from Igloo. Um, so yeah, it's it's an awesome software like that. So what we, what we do now is go through and, you know, give a page a name. So I'm going to call this one Upsell1, one, okay. And maybe you'll call this one uh, Sales Page. And then you simply go through into your page and simply go through and edit. And over here okay cool so this is the igloo editor and it's super super simple to use what you would do you know if you want to change an image you simply double click on it and it opens up this pop-up you can upload your images um, or simply go through and edit like that and then what you do is simply click on the element and click on the style and you go through and simply adjust the size you know you can add padding onto the top um, we've got padding over here so you can adjust it on any, any side um, and yeah, you can go through and add an animation. So if you want an entrance animation, you go through and select one like that. Maybe something a bit more crazy like this. Okay. And yeah, you can also add on different other animations like, whoops, if I just go through, you can click on animations over here and it brings it up. So you can add spark animations. These are part of the upsell one and also mouse hover animations are part of upsell one as well. And um, spark effects basically work. So when you, after a certain amount of time, you know, it will animate, so it kind of, draws attention especially like for buy buttons and things like that to produce call to actions um in mouse hover effects you know simply like this you can add hover effects to any element so when they hover their mouse on it it just looks pretty cool okay so yeah so what you can do is simply go through and you know customize these templates so for example change text just like this and then what you can do is you know adjust the text fonts you can adjust the text size Obviously you can adjust the text color, all these kind of things like this, you know, super simple to use. Um, you can adjust the text on weight. You can make it either really bold like this. I'll bring it down to 400. Okay. And then what you can do is begin, you know, basically go ahead and creating your pages. So um, the way that it works is through building blocks. So you simply click on this button and then you can go through and you know, select a column. We've got different options down here. So different uh, kind of column breakups like this. And then what you can do is begin dragging and dropping elements. So you can go through over here. Let's say we want to have some text. I'll just drag and drop that down there. And maybe we want to add, let's say we want to have an icon over here. So I'll drag and drop that there. I'll select the icon. We've got a full icon library, you know, vector icons where you can select. So maybe we'll go with uh, this one here. And I'll go and change the style. Maybe I'll change a different color, maybe a blue color, something like that. Make it really big or really small. You know, adjust it however you want. Um, and this one text, maybe I'll make this a little bit lower like that. And maybe I want to adjust the line space of the text. I can do this like that. 
and yeah, you can go through and begin building your pages. What you can also do, you know, obviously is, uh, whoops, let's go and delete that. What you can do is um, adjust the background color. You can either select the gradient like this as well. So maybe you want to go with I know, something like an orange and maybe a red like that. So it's quite nice. Um, or you can make it radial so it goes in the middle or horizontal or vertical and things like that. So maybe something like that looks pretty cool. So I'm going to go through and actually delete this for now. And what we can also do, like for example, if you like different, if you're creating your page, you know, from scratch and you want to, um, maybe you want to save this section at the top because you really like, you know, this VSL section, what you can do is simply click on it and then click on save section as template and then give it a name, let's say VSL section or, sale, or let's say sales page. So you can identify it. I'll click on save now. So if I go through and maybe I want to add that same section down here as well. So what I would do is click on add new section, go to my templates. And you can see we've got different types of templates that you can go through and save and then directly add it onto your page. And this is going to help a lot, you know, when you're building different pages and, you, and you've got sections you want to add, um, maybe from your other pages that you created, what you can do is simply select them, click on add to page. And You can also go through and copy sections. So let's say, maybe you want to copy this section over here. Um, let's go to other commands, Cop copy rows, sorry. So you copy the rows, and then what you do is click and create a new, sec uh, a new uh, section. And then I'm gonna go adjust this color. Let's make it a kind of a gray color like that. And then what I can do is go through and paste rows on top of the section, okay, like that. So it just speeds things up, you know, a whole bunch, you know, um, instead of you having to go and recreate everything from scratch, you can go through and just copy and paste things. And then so on the left-hand side, we've got a whole bunch of features. So um, let's say we want to add a button down over here underneath this one again. Just drag and drop that. I can go through to the styles. I've got presets over here. So there's heaps of different types of presets for your buttons. You know, all the kind of styles you want. And you can also adjust everything. So, you know, you know if you select, for example, this one, here maybe that's quite a nice one I go back to my styles I go to my button shadow I can adjust you know the shadow make it longer like this maybe make it a bit darker a bit lighter however you want to do it you know you can go through and adjust it however you like maybe you don't like that so we go through and select you know something like this with a gradient um, and you just go to the background and just you know adjust the gradient color so maybe you want to have like a like a red and I don't know something like that you can go through and you know create that you can also add on things like cards, so you know, credit card things like this. You can adjust the size of them. You can adjust the top margin, the spacing. All these kind of things are super easy to customize and flexible. Um, like that, you can select whether you want to add extra ones like this or just remove them like that. You can also add an icon onto your button. So let's say you want to check one like that, and you can adjust the size as well if you want, make it a bit bigger. You know, design it however you want, um, you know, using this editor. You can add some padding onto the sides like this, maybe make it a little bit like that. And that's looking really nice, you know, and it's that easy to go ahead and customize. Um, maybe you want to go through and add like a navigation bar on top of like a navigation menu like this. I'll go through and drag it down like that. And what I'm going to do first of all is just go through to my, my row, whoops, over here. And I'm going to go to the layout and adjust this to something like that. And then I'm, what I'm going to do is go and select this one, drag and drop it up here. Okay, like that. So now I've got a navigation bar. And what I'm going to do is select a different style. So you can see what it looks like for the on style and for the off style. Now with this one, it's going to be pretty fun. I'm just going to quickly show you this. So let's say I'm going to adjust this and say uh, demo, for example. And this one I want to say features. And this one I'll say... Uh, I'm just trying to think of some and then what I can do is go through and add a new one let's say join now like that okay 
So that, that's what it would look like when you hover your mouse on it. So what we can do is actually adjust this. So for the on style, what we can go to the background. We can select, you know, gradient for example. Again, you can adjust this like that. Or maybe you want to go through and select an image. You can actually add an image onto the background, like a GIF image like this with snow, which looks super cool. And I'll just save this and show you that. Um, and what you can also do, actually, I'll just quickly scroll down here. So let's say this section, I want to go through and name this one uh, demo video. Okay. So what I'll do is go back over to this navigation bar and then I'll go to my settings. And what I can do for the demo, I want to scroll to the section, which is demo video. Okay. So I'll go ahead and save that. And now if I go and preview this, you can see we've got that animation over here. You can see right now I've got this really awesome snow effect like that. And if I click on this, it scrolls down to the section that I selected. Um, and you can see how easy and quick it is to go through and create your pages. Um, and you know, this software is, is incredible. You know, it works, it's not, it's not like buggy or anything like that. You know, it's, it's solid, solid software, um, ready to launch. And I know your list is gonna love it. So as you can see, you can also add, for example, social buttons. Let's just drag and drop that one over there. And I'll just push this down here. Um, you can adjust this, this size, make it really big. We've got different presets like this. You can adjust colors. Or maybe I'll select a block. <coughs> I'm losing my voice, sorry about that. Um, yeah, you can go through and adjust you know, everything like this. It looks really cool. You can even adjust the opacity if you want. Super, super flexible. You can add custom HTML. You can add um, bullet points, um, you know, email sign-up forms. Basically, every element you want um, is included in this, okay? so. Yeah, if you want to add some headline text over here, Siri's just <laughs> Siri's just started to talk to me. Um, let's say, yeah, text. Yeah, okay. So yeah, as you can see, super easy to use. I know you guys are going to love it, um, and it's going to be a great launch coming next week. We've got everything set up, uh, you know, awesome VSL. We've got a wonderful sales page created specifically inside of Igloo. Um, and what we're also adding in is video background. So you've got to add a video background to your actual page on, on your page settings as well. Um, and we're adding a ton of extra awesome features as well. Um, you know, coming before launch day and also after launch day. You know, this is our, our main project that we're going to be working on, um, you know, full time after launch as well. So yeah, thanks again for watching this video. Um, make sure if you haven't signed up already for this launch, add your email address in so I can keep you updated with everything that's going on with this launch. But we go live on June 14th with our pre-launch starting on. Hey, Peter Beatty here from VideoRevolver.com, and I wanted to shoot this quick video for my friend Josh Rada. Now, I first heard of Josh uh, in early 2014 after he released his e-video rocket course. Um, soon after that, we kind of hooked up and you know figured out that we're both in the video marketing space, so we should probably meet each other and uh, see how we can help each other. So since then, uh, Josh and I have kind of became Facebook friends and. Uh, Whenever he releases something, I try to support it when I can. Uh, his products always convert amazingly well for me. Uh, every time I uh, mail on any one of his products, I always make a ton of sales. And also, when you know I release a product, Josh is always there to support me as well, and he's always uh, one of my top JVs uh, whenever he promotes for one of my launches. The guy just does an awesome job on all of his promotions. And one of the things that I really like about how Josh promotes is how he does his pre-selling. He's always one of the first to send out uh, an email uh, for your launch. He's always uh, setting up awesome pre-sell pages for his customers, and he's always uh, creating awesome bonus packs for his customers. So obviously that helps out when he promotes, and his conversions are always sky high. So thanks, Josh. For